Okay. We don't work for the Empire. Please. The guards all <coughs> stepping up to the sides. Here behind. And here. Oh God. And here. Oh God. What should we do? And even more. Like say something. Begin to arrive up. We have to tell her the truth. Tell her, tell her the truth. Yes, yes. Just she, tell her. She turns and sits back down on the throne. Everyone else begins to sit down. They've, they seem to have lost attention on you in the moment, and the guards begin to rush forward and just grab you at the shoulders. They grab Caleb. I am sorry. We are sorry. We have come to bring you something. We have come to bring you something. We have come a long way. No. No. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. Just get arrested, man. Just get arrested. You should do it. Oh, Jesus. They've pushed Caduceus onto the ground. Um, Yasha's currently being put into shackles. Please, please spare us. He's my he's my husband. You you have my husband. You're hold you're holding my husband. There's no there's no attention being paid. The Empire is working against you. Wildmount is working against you. And we have brought the proof, if you will allow me to show it to you. The uh, <laughs> Zyth here across the way goes, what proof? I need to approach my friend. I mean no harm. I need to remove something from Make a persuasion check. Oh boy. Oh boy, this went perfectly in my head. 16. 16. You have a moment. Anything strange, and I take off your head. Chester, I am coming to you, okay? I am just going to open this bag. Careful, as you reach for it, you, you hear the sound of many blades being drawn as you reach for the bag. <laughs> echoing through the immense chamber, the bright light bearing down on top of you. You can feel the sweat beads forming and dripping down your forehead and gathering in your brow. I say this as a child of the Empire, connected to inner circles there long ago. And I reach in and grab the dodecahedron. Oh. Okay. And lift it into the air. I thought you were gonna get out the tripod first. <laughs> no, go big or go home. Okay. Um, the minute you pull the dodecahedron out, you hear the clattering of metal. Ting, 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 it is a vacuum now in silence. The thrum of the object in your hand, the light pulsing like the heartbeat since the moment you found it. You see every eye upon you, and the queen, the bright queen herself, Elis Grin, has stepped around the art object, the symbol that sits before her throne and looks down straight into it, her eyes wide. You see tears forming at the corners of her face. I am of the Empire, but I am no friend to the Empire. One of your own came to retrieve this and fell, and I bring it to you. And I set it down in front of Jester, two or three feet in front of her feet, and raise my hands back into the air. Everyone is just locked in on this, and slowly they all begin to look to the Bright Queen. She holds her staff up and says, Release their bindings. One by one, you find your chains, your manacles, Pulled away. The queen takes a step, then another, and another, and approaches. Tall, elegant with each step. 
she approaches, and she's even more imposing, more beautiful and ethereal the closer she gets to you. She sets her staff aside and reaches down from the handles, picks it up. You bring us hope. And you have undone one of many great wounds against us today. I have no words. My emotions burn within my chest. If you are no friend to the Empire, you have certainly today become heroes of the dynasty. And that's where we'll end tonight's oh, episode. Oh my god! <laughs>